Hi there everyone. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to build a small or large hydraulic crane. Let's see how these things operate. Both of these cranes are made following the, the same plan. The only difference is really their size. The smaller crane uses a 10 millimeter syringe and the larger crane is using a 35 millimeter syringe, but uh, you could just as easily make it with a 30 milliliter or maybe a 40 milliliter syringe as well. Here are the materials that you will need to make the small crane. Um, the only difference in materials if you're making a large crane is the size of the syringes and the size of the zip ties. So of course you're going to need a big sheet of cardboard, you're going to need some airline tubing that could be found at your local pet store, some bamboo skewers found at your local grocery store, a carpet knife, some scissors, the syringes, a metal straight edge for cutting straight lines in the cardboard, an electric drill with a bit that has a diameter slightly larger than the bamboo skewers, a hot glue gun with some extra glue sticks, some nails to punch holes in cardboard, and um, a pencil and zip ties, which I think I've already mentioned. Okay, let's get started. Let's begin by preparing our syringes. Now, we only really need to modify one of the syringes because the other one is just used as the controller. So we'll set this one aside. We'll need to drill a hole through the syringe here. So and I want to make sure that my bamboo skewer fits through there and that it pivots freely and it does so we are good. Now we need to create a loop on this end of the syringe and a good way to do that is with these zip ties. So take one of the zip ties and form a small loop. Then take the other zip tie, go through the small loop, and zip it in one or two snaps so that you have a larger loop. You want it large enough to fit over the end of the syringe. We're gonna hot glue this on now. So I'll run a bead of hot glue around the syringe. Then I'm going to take my, uh, my zip tie here, slide it around the end of the syringe and zip it down into the hot glue, just like so. Now my loop here, that's a bit big for my skewer, so I'm going to zip that down a bit more now. going to work just fine. You want to trim these tails off so they don't get in the way. And once the hot glue cools, you can peel off some of those tails and hairs sticking up. All right, so that's our syringe and uh, let's move on to the next step. All right, so we're going to cut the cardboard base for our crane system and uh, I'm just going to use the edge of the board here and then cut a line about this far and it doesn't have to be exact, it's, you know, about the width of my hand with the fingers splayed out. All right, so what I just cut out is going to be the base of the crane. All right, next we're going to cut out some strips and cardboard panels to construct the arm and the stand of our crane system. All 
All right, one of these pieces is going to be cut in half now because uh, it's going to be this part here. It doesn't need to be as long as the arms. Let's see, this piece ended up being uh, almost 12 inches. So I'm gonna mark it at the six inch point. Use my scissors to make a rough cut. And then let's see how we did here. It'll look better if these two pieces are the same length. That looks pretty good, so I'm just gonna leave those as is. All right, next I'm going to glue these onto my baseboard here. They're gonna go on just like this. And I want them far enough apart so that there's room for the syringe to fit in between. Hold these here for a moment while the glue sets up. All right, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to make some support braces by cutting one of these strips into a small panel. Just like that. And then I'm going to attach this about an inch up from the base. That's going to help keep things in place. It looks like I have enough room for my syringe. So next I'm going to go ahead and attach my syringe. I'm going to take one of these, one of the small nails first, and I'm going to punch a hole. I'm going to punch a hole probably right about here. All right, and then I want to make sure that that goes through nice and straight to the other end. All right, let's see how that fits with the skewer. I think that hole is going to be a little bit too small. Well, you know what? That works out pretty good. All right, so I take my syringe here. Run the skewer through the syringe. And then out the other end. All right, so now this loop here, this is gonna be attached to the top of the, of the crane. So let's work on building the arms that go across the top now. So I'm gonna cut some panels that are the distance from the inside of the two uh, stands here. three of them.
Okay, while that glue is cooling, we're going to punch some holes in the top of our stand. All right, and then this piece is going to fit in like this. So we'll need to line up the holes. Go ahead and mark them with a pencil. These, I think I'm gonna go to the bigger nail and widen them a little bit. Next, let's position our syringe, loop, and skewer. It looks like, it looks like it's probably gonna be right about there. All right, and we are almost complete. So I'm gonna push these skewers through and then we're gonna trim off the ends. If you add a few blobs of hot glue on the outside, that'll prevent them from sliding around. Alright, next we'll need some water, we'll need our other syringe, and we'll need some airline to run from one syringe to the other. So I think if I cut it about that long, that'll be pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and attach the end of the airline to this syringe here. And in case you're wondering, this syringe could be mounted on the opposite way. So if you prefer to have the tube coming out the back side of the crane, like in this sample, then uh, just flip it around. All right, so with the other syringe completely depressed, Place it in the water and fill it all the way up. Then connect it to the airline. And uh, let's see how this works. All right, so there you go. If you want, you could attach some strings or some hooks to this end of the crane and set it up so that it could actually lift something up. Um, but uh, I hope you found this interesting. Please take the time to like this video and subscribe to the channel.